Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna and I really like talking about music. And today I am doing a vinyl collection update because since my last video, or the first one I did, um, my collection has more than doubled. <laughs> so I wanted to keep on top of things and show you what else is in my collection because the first video got a lot of great response. You seem to really like it. Um, and yeah, I made some cool new friends out of that. There's, a, there's such a cool vinyl community. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd talk more about <laughs> what I have. So I'll go through my singles that I have. So from the first video, if you saw it, you may remember this playable postcard. I now have several more, so <laughs> I won't go through all of them. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in these, vinylpost.co, that's where you go. It's like six ninety nine a month and you get a new playable voice playable postcard every month so yeah then i'll go on to eps um i have two eps the first one is okie dokie by a polish club um i love polish club so much i think that's a well-known fact i did a review of this ep actually on my channel i will link that below um and the cool one about this is it's like this cool like mustard yellow color which i haven't seen before but um yeah very cool glad i have that and the second one um is the chats get this in ya uh if you don't know who the chats are if you are an australian teen that has some form of social media you probably know the song smoko that's these guys um this is really cool and i love the little warning this album will tell you a new one now on to my lps because there's a lot of them. The first one is Etta James at last. Just it's a classic you have to have. I found it in 180 gram, which everyone knows. It's great if you can get it in 180 gram. Um, but just the album art itself is beautiful. Um, and Etta James is an absolute queen, goddess, just a great woman. <laughs> then I found at a record fair um, Tony Bennett sings his all-time Hall of Fame hits. If you didn't know, um, Tony Bennett was Amy Winehouse's idol and Amy Winehouse is my idol. So I thought, why not give this a shot? And I'm so glad I got it because it's um, very nice to listen to. <laughs> Another one from 78 Records. This is Viva Santana, um, just Santana's best hits. If you don't know who Santana is, probably just listen to him. He's got a very distinct style of guitar. Um, and yeah, he's a god, I guess. <laughs> Another one from 78 Records, um, well, most of my vintage ones are from 78 Records because they have a great collection. Um, this is super bad. It's a compilation, um, vinyl. There's 24 songs and they're all like really amazing, um, soul artists and groups. Like you've got Sly and the Family Stone, you've got OJs, Barry White, Four Tops, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, Aretha Franklin. But the main reason I got this is because the very last track on this is Move On Up by Curtis Mayfield and that is my dad's favourite song. So I thought that'd be wicked to have it on vinyl so we can play that. It's also one of my favourite songs, but yeah. I'm really, this is like one of my favourite things in my collection. Next we have Mecca 45. This is the 45th anniversary of Blackpool Mecca, which was one of the hubs for Northern Soul in the 70s um, and it's just got some really really good songs on there um, like Bobby Womack, Home is Where the Heart Is, you've got Lou Courtney trying to find a woman, Nine Times, The Moments, just it's really good. Next um, is a set that I need to put in jackets because they're gonna get damaged otherwise um, and it's just big band hits of the 20s, 30s and 40s. Um, I love anything with like horn sections, trumpets, I just Love the big band sound, so this was a very easy purchase for me. I got these for a dollar each at 78 Records, so uh, I love that place. Next we have Complete Madness. This is 16 tracks of Madness's greatest hits, um, and it's just a very cool gatefold thing. It's got loads of information on the back. I love how old records are like this. They had more than just the track listing. They had like news articles and like stuff about the band it was i don't know i just think it's really cool then 
Another one of my prized possessions in my collection is Suck It and See by Arctic Monkeys. This is my favourite Arctic Monkeys album. Um, I just love every song on this, especially Hellcat. Um, just it's so, so good. It's a nice gatefold. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. And yeah, very happy with this purchase. The next two I will show you together because I got them together. Um, I got these two from my boyfriend, Flynn, just who is the best. Amy Winehouse is black to, back to black. Um, don't really need to explain this. You know how I feel about Amy Winehouse. And this was just, yeah, it was just really nice to get this from him. So. Um, and the other one is Lazaretto by Jack White. Um, first off, it's just a sick album. Like, if you like his music, it's just, it's so good. But um, there's a reason that this one is so coveted for um, vinyl collectors. It's just um, really cool. There's so many like little features on the vinyl, like if you peel back the sticker, there's hidden tracks, if you play it backwards something happens and like there's like one song where depending on where you drop the needle, um, it, you can either get an acoustic or electric version of the song. And there's also a little spinning angel hologram on the vinyl. <laughs> I don't know how they do that, but it's wicked and I'm so glad to have this. So yeah, thank you, Flynn. These next two I'm gonna to show together as well because they're from the same band. I have the Amazon's um, debut album. I, I just love this album so much. Junk Food Forever may be my all time favorite song. Um, <laughs> this might even rival Whitney's Let Upon the Lake as my all time favorite album. I mean, can you have two albums that you can't decide between because yeah they're both up there like my all-time favorite albums can't live without them and then I caught this last week this is a recording of their live show at Reading in London um, and it's signed uh, and they only made I believe it was 250 no I think they made 500 of these but the first 200 were signed and when I went on there um, I there was like two signed ones left and I was like oh my god I've never run so fast to get my credit card it's ridiculous um, but yeah I actually cried when I opened this because I just love this band so much they mean so much to me and I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to see them I don't know if they're gonna come to Perth so to have something that they've touched and signed is is very cool for me <laughs> Next, I have Touch the Sky by Smokey Robinson. Um, this is one from 78 Records. This one, I believe, used to belong to Curtin FM. That's why it's got, like, writing on it. But, oh well. This is another one of my absolute favourites in my collection. This is Coming Home by Leon Bridges. This guy is just on another level to most humans. Um, he's just... I, I love anything with a vintage retro influence. Um, this is his first album it's very like 50s and 60s and then his next album is very like late 60s 70s early 80s um they're both incredible though i want to get the other one um but yeah smooth sailing is on here and that's just one of my favorite songs and yeah just love this never gonna part with this <laughs> another one from 78 records um this is i don't know why i got this I just thought it'd be cool to have Academy Award winning songs like it's got like over the rainbow on it and stuff I just thought it was cool <laughs> This is my last one from 78 records. Um, this is West Side Story on vinyl. Um, I am a massive massive fan of musical theater and Big shows and West Side Story is one of my favorites um, so I saw this and couldn't not pick it up especially for a dollar Are you joking? Um, so yeah, shout out to 78 Records, man. They're the best. They've got the nicest people working there and they're just, it's such a cool place. It, if you haven't been there in the city, you have to go like down an alley and then up some stairs and then, yeah, they've got like an outdoors patio bit where you can have a drink. Um, and then they've got a section where they're all like a dollar each or you can get like, I think it's like 10 for seven bucks and then 20 for 
15 maybe I can't remember um but yeah definitely one of my favorite places in Perth okay I got two more so hold on the first one is I got this for my birthday from my brother so thank you Kaylin um, this is the Beatles 1967 to 1970 and this is all of my favorite Beatles songs um, this was definitely my favorite years of them it's a nice gatefold as well it's double LP and yeah I'm chuffed to have this because my dad didn't <laughs> he has most of the Beatles but I'm glad I have this collection okay final one um, this is Rip Petit by Jackie Wilson. I love Jackie Wilson. He's got such a great voice and such a great vibe. And yeah, this is just a, a great, great album. Um, it's got Your Love Keeps Lifting Me Higher, which is such a classic tune. And the album art is so pretty. I love the colours and he just, yeah. Yeah, so that's my updated vinyl collection. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you've got any of the ones that I've got or you want any of the ones that I've got. Um, yeah, let me know what you want to see next. I'm kind of stuck with ideas. I don't know what you guys want to see. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.